November 29, 2022, Gulf of Mexico. Two F-15 EX Eagles fire missiles from brand new weapon stations, never tested before. 12 air-to-air -air missiles on one jet. Three cruise missiles launched in a single mission. August 2023, the Pentagon just declared it effective against fifth-generation fighters. This isn't an upgrade. It's a complete transformation of American air power. And it's all happening at one base in Florida. The testing taking place at Eglund Air Force Base isn't just breaking records, it's rewriting what our Air Force can do in combat. Here's how they're doing it. The F-15 EX Eagle II is undergoing the most aggressive weapons testing program in modern Air Force history. At Eglund Air Force Base in Florida, two elite squadrons are pushing this fighter to its absolute limits. They're not just testing missiles, they're validating a weapon system that can carry more firepower than any fighter jet America has ever built. The 40th Flight Test Squadron and the 85th Test and Evaluation Squadron are working around the clock. Their mission? Prove this jet can dominate any threat, anywhere, anytime. If you support our Air Force and what they're accomplishing, type yes in the comments below. Let's talk about where this is happening. Eglin Air Force Base sits on Florida's panhandle, but it's not the base itself that makes it special. It's what lies beyond it. The Eglin test range covers 133,000 square miles. That's the entire eastern third of the Gulf of Mexico, stretching from Florida's panhandle all the way to the Keys. It's one of the largest overwater test ranges in the world. This gives our testers something priceless, empty airspace, no commercial flights, no civilian boats, just open water and open sky where they can push these fighters to the edge without putting anyone at risk. Two squadrons run the show here. The 40th Flight Test Squadron handles developmental testing. They're figuring out what this jet can do. The 85th Test and Evaluation Squadron conducts operational testing. They're making sure it'll work in real combat. Both belong to different wings, but they work as one combined team. And here's what makes this program different. Normally, developmental and operational testing happen separately. It takes years. The F-15EX, they're doing both at the same time. It's called integrated testing, and they completed phase one in just two years. That's unheard of in modern aircraft programs. The Air Force is using this model as the blueprint for future programs, including the B-21 Raider bomber. Our maintainers, engineers, and test pilots aren't just doing their jobs. They're setting the standard for how America tests its fighters. January 25, 2022. The Gulf of Mexico. An F-15EX from the 40th Flight Test Squadron takes off carrying an AIM-120D AMRAAM missile. This is the moment everyone's been waiting for. The first live weapon test. The jet locks on to a BQM-167 aerial target drone. The radar tracks it. The missile releases. It flies toward the target. But it doesn't hit. That wasn't the point. This test validated the entire weapon system from end to end. The sensors worked. The targeting worked. The launch worked. The missile flew. That's what matters in this phase of testing. The Air Force called it a complete success. Colton Lyers, the F-15 EX test project manager, said this first shot proved the Eagle II was completely capable of fulfilling its air dominance role. It paved the way for more complex tests. And those complex tests came fast. By November 2022, less than a year later, testers were ready for the next milestone. This one would change everything. What they did next put the F-15EX in a class by itself. Before we continue, if you're finding this interesting, hit that like button and subscribe. Over 98% of people watching right now aren't subscribed. It costs you nothing, but helps us bring you more content like this. Now back to what happened in November. November 29th, 2022. Two F-15EX jets flying over the Gulf. This is the day they validate the 12 missile capacity. The day they prove this jet can carry more air-to-air -air missiles than any fighter in the U.S. inventory. 
The first jet fires an AIM-120 AMRAAM from Station 1. That's a brand new outer wing weapon station. The second jet fires an AIM-9X Sidewinder from Station 9, another new station. Both missiles release cleanly. Both hit their target drones. The test is a complete success. Why does this matter? Because the old F-15C could only carry 8 air-to-air -air missiles. The F-15EX can carry 12. That's 50% more firepower. Those four extra missiles come from new advanced missile and bomb ejector racks, called AMBER. These racks give the F-15EX a total of 23 weapon stations compared to 17 on the older Strike Eagle. Major Brett Hughes, who fired one of those missiles, said it best. He'd been with the Eglin F-15EX team from day one. Watching this milestone proved they were fielding the most combat-capable F-15 ever built. The implications are massive. In a real fight, if you're a combatant commander, you want every missile you can get. One F-15EX with 12 missiles does the work of one and a half older jets. Four F-15EXs flying together? That's 48 missiles in the air. That's overwhelming firepower. But our testers weren't done. They had one more record to break. August 2023, Hill Air Force Base, Utah. The 85th Test and Evaluation Squadron is ready for the capstone event of Phase 1 testing. They're going to launch three joint air-to-surface standoff missiles in a single sortie. These are cruise missiles with a range of 230 miles. They're stealthy, they're deadly accurate, and nobody's ever launched three from an F-15EX before. The jet takes off. It carries three JASMs plus a full load of 12 AMRAAM missiles. Think about that weight, that firepower. The pilot reaches the launch zone. All three JASMs release. They fly toward their classified targets. Everything works perfectly. Major Calvin Connor, the F-15 Division Commander for the 85th, summed it up, proving the F-15EX could employ three JASMs after already validating the 12 AMRAAM loadout was incredible. The firepower a four-ship of F-15EXs brings to a combatant commander is tremendous. This test officially completed Integrated Test and Evaluation Phase 1. It proved the F-15EX could handle the longest-range air-to-air and air-to-ground munitions in the entire Department of Defense inventory. The data from these tests went straight to the Air Force Operational Test and Evaluation Center and the Pentagon's testing director. The result? In June 2024, the Air Force approved the F-15EX for full-rate production. That means unlimited manufacturing, no more testing delays. Just build them and send them to the squadrons. But missiles aren't the only thing being tested to Eglin. There's another system that makes this jet truly lethal. It's called EPOS, Eagle Passive Active Warning Survivability System. This is the F-15EX's electronic warfare suite. It detects threats, it jams enemy radars, it protects the jet from surface-to-air missiles. From August 2023 to January 2024, EPOS underwent intensive testing at Eglin and the Nevada Test and Training Range. The system uses artificial intelligence to analyze enemy signals and decide whether to jam them or deceive them. It's called Cognitive Electronic Warfare. In April 2024, EPOS completed operational testing. The Air Force declared it operationally effective. In January 2025, just weeks ago, the Pentagon awarded a $616 million contract for full rate production. And here's the most impressive part. In 2024, the Pentagon's Director of Operational Test and Evaluation released a report. It said the F-15EX is operationally effective against fifth generation fighters. That means it can go head-to-head -head with jets like the Chinese J-20 or Russian Su-57. The F-15EX detected and tracked all threats at advantageous ranges. It used onboard and offboard systems to identify them, and it delivered weapons while surviving. Our men and women at Eglin proved this jet isn't just good. It's ready for the toughest fights America might face. The F-15EX isn't just another fighter. It's a weapons platform that carries more missiles flies farther, and hits harder than anything we've had before. The testing at Eglin Air Force Base proved it. Our test pilots, engineers, and maintainers broke records and rewrote the playbook. If this impressed you, hit that like button and subscribe. We cover the latest in military technology and the people making it happen. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.